name is John, and today we'll be reading You Won't Believe What Obama Did in South Africa by Wayne Allen Root on Town Hall, posted August 10th, 2018. Do you know what Obama did in South Africa? You're not going to believe it. It's the biggest disgrace in the history of the U.S. presidency. But the mainstream media won't say a word. It's a total blackout. This, as Obama would say, is a teachable moment. 90 plus percent of President Trump's coverage by U.S. mainstream media is negative. Terribly negative. Horribly negative. Remarkably negative. The same media adores and idolizes former President Obama. The difference in the way they are treated is remarkable. Remember, it was Obama who first separated illegal alien parents from children. The media said nothing. When Trump did it, he was a Nazi and racist. Suddenly, it was compared to the Holocaust. Remember when Obama used IRS to go after conservative groups and conservative critics? I'm a witness. Obama's IRS tried to destroy my life. Judicial Watch proved it was a political witch hunt based on my conservative political beliefs. I was targeted, intimidated, and persecuted because I'm a conservative. Judicial Watch can prove it. The mainstream media don't care. They refuse to cover the story. Can you even imagine if President Trump used the IRS to go after liberal critics, liberal groups, Black Lives Matter, or the NAACP? I can't even imagine the protests, rioting, million-man marches, and screams for the impeachment and prosecution of Trump. That brings me to one of the most incredible examples in the history of the U.S. media. It happened in South Africa two weeks ago. You won't believe what Obama did, nor will you believe the mainstream media has chosen to cover it up, but they did. Anyone remember apartheid? That was the political and economic system of South Africa that saw blacks purposely kept in misery and poverty by the white minority. It was illegal for blacks to own poverty property. This was a horrible, inhumane, evil system. Americans of all races and political ideologies should have been offended and outraged by apartheid. But are you aware South Africa has a new version of apartheid? I'll bet you're not. No one in the U.S. media has covered it. No headlines this time around. As a matter of fact, not a word. To my knowledge, only one national TV or radio host in the country has been exposing this terrible new apartheid for months on end. Yours truly. Only because in my second career as a business speaker, I've lectured on entrepreneurship all around the world. I've spoken a half dozen times in South Africa. I've given speeches in front of thousands in Johannesburg, Cape Town, and Durban. I've gotten to know the people of South Africa. I've made many wonderful friends for life. That's why I've been aware for months of this new apartheid. But this time it's human rights and civil rights violations by the black majority in South Africa. This time it's blatant discrimination, racism, and hate crimes by the black majority. This time it's legal for blacks to steal the land of whites. This time it's blacks murdering whites with impunity. South African President Cyril Ramo Ramaphosa and his ruling ANC, African National Congress, have made it legal to forcibly take land from white farmers and property owners. That was the first step. Now comes the next radical step. The President and his Congress are changing the Constitution to allow the South African government to forcibly take any white person's land, this time without any compensation. Pure theft. Because of the color of their skin, white families are left in poverty, left homeless, left without a livelihood. Worse, 
the president and several of his political allies have threatened to murder white property owners who refuse to hand over their property. They actually said they have no plans at the moment for a genocide. The inference being that if white farmers and property owners put up a fight, the next step will be a genocide. An emboldened citizenry is already taking matters into its own hands. A UK newspaper reports one white farmer is murdered every five days in South Africa. Hundreds of white landowners have been killed or badly injured in mob attacks since 2016. Yet the world says nothing. The media says nothing. Politicians say nothing. Hollywood celebrities say nothing. There are no protests or calls for bo boycotts. Hard to believe. Enter Obama. The former U.S. president recently accepted a speech in South Africa. He undoubtedly collected a fortune for that speech. That's called blood money. Obama was paid with money tainted by racism, theft, and murder. How badly does an ex-president need money? Why would he accept this money? Worse, he didn't use that platform to say a word about the new apartheid. Worse yet, he stood on that stage next to the president of South Africa, lending him credibility. Then worst of all, he praised the president who presides over a country stealing white-owned land, murdering whites, and threatening genocide. Then worst of all, he praised the president who presides over a country stealing white-owned land, murdering whites, and threatening genocide. This could be the most disgraceful speech ever by a former U.S. president. Yet the media said nothing. President Trump calls Don Lemon of CNN dumb on tw Twitter. It creates a media firestorm. Trump must be a racist. Obama praises the president of a nation murdering and robbing white people because of the race. No one says a word. What Obama did in South Africa should be the biggest news in America. The fact that you never even heard about it tells you everything about the fraud, deceit, and fake news of the mainstream media. This video is a production of the School of the White Crane. My name is John Brooker and you can reach me through commentary on this video or through my Gmail listed here. Please share this video on social media and with your family and friends. And please subscribe. May God richly bless you, my beloved.